<laughs> we just dropped off Ian for school. And uh, apparently the majority of the high school had late arrival today, so there's a lot of cars. <laughs> this is my view right now. What do you think, Rex? <laughs> journey to find a cookie detour hello Wesley how are you are you upset that I left you for an hour yeah next time I'll bring you with me <laughs> I can teach you clarinet you can replace me yeah I love these cookies. They're peanut butter and chocolate. So good. Mm. So good. So good. I wish you could all taste this right now. Mm. Look at this Christmas card we got in the mail today. It's so shiny and glittery. It's from my grandparents. And if you're watching this, I miss you guys and I love you guys so much and I'm so excited to visit you. I literally cannot wait. <laughs> Hey, hey, so tonight we are in Galatians, Galatians 4 verses 4 through 5. When the time came to completion, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. So tonight I am going to read you guys the... Bible app devotion because um, I read it and I was like wow they nailed it so basically these two verses are the Christmas story and the Devo tonight breaks it down and kind of explains it so I just want to share with you guys what they said because it's so cool so cool so I have my laptop here and I'm just gonna read what they said. So the setting is when the time came to completion. The waiting was over, the anticipation for this promised one had passed and God and his infinite wisdom was right on time. The characters, God sent his son born of a woman. Jesus came that Christmas morning as God in the flesh. This divinely strange combination made Jesus perfectly qualified for his mission on earth. The plot, born under the law to redeem those under the law. There had never been anyone like Jesus born who had the power to set us free. We needed someone who was tempted like we were under the law, but who had successfully lived a perfect and righteous life. On the cross, God punished Jesus for our sins and transgressions of the law. 
When we, when we receive God's grace through faith, we are credited with the perfect law keeping of Jesus. And the result is so that we may receive adoption as sons. Now, everyone who receives the work of Jesus by faith can be reconciled to their heavenly father. We are no longer enemies of God. We are God's beloved children. This is Christmas according to Paul. And I think that's so cool. It really, they nailed it. Describing how Paul explained the Christmas story and why Jesus had to come and what he did. So the question they asked based on all of that is, how would you tell the Christmas story in a few sentences? What details would you include? What characters would you emphasize? I'm super interested in this. So if you want to, feel free to describe the Christmas story in a few sentences in the comments um, for others to read. And also, I'm curious <laughs> as to what you guys think, what you guys would emphasize. With that said, I hope you guys have a good night, morning, afternoon, whenever you're watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.